What is this place? Where am I? I can feel something moving closer. Empress Emily Caldwin. I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise, Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty? And are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. I'm standing at the edge of something. All the stories. Incredible. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. What is that? I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand and I will guide you when I can. There is no sky. Shouldn't be here. No one should. In thousands of years. Who is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes fawning sycophants of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood. An ambition, the birthplace of my father. 
Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back. into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few allies. Might be cursed. Daft old man. You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. You've explained part of it, but what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. 
The new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers, the Crown Killer. Adermeyer, all right, I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Mortimer Ramsey. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. I miss my lessons with Anton Sokolov. He made so many clever devices during my mother's time. Jewel of the South, my father's birthplace. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland, and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademar. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head down. This is a good spot. Reach Ademar, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Ademar. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. A full day's work. Oh, that's a laugh. How would she know? Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. What ship is that out there? You know the skipper? Someone is still that's Adermeyer in the distance. 
a piece of the confiscation. We don't normally see many of these beasts this far south. They're like the cold waters to the north. Fellow Sir Conan, in the Duke's absence, I have the following announcement. Restrictions are now the same nightmare again last night. I wish I could leave the city. Emily Caldwell, and carried out by the former royal protector, Corvo and Rita. Let me view the ground. I'm not going to go to sleep now. I'm wondering if I wake up. Just remember to move slowly and don't get too close to the nests. Compliance is mandatory. One is looking for me. It might pay to be discreet. I warned you. Please, you gave me no choice. Please. It's too late for that, Rapallo. Guess what happens next? This is how we get rid of snitches. Remember, if anyone asks, he just ran through it. Yeah. Stop him. Oh, by the void! That was close! Hey, is the windmill turning all right up there? No problems? Let's hope you never need help. An underground market. Illegal trade means weapons and ammunition. Come in. If you've found this place, I'll trade with you.
Ah, you want blueprints for better weaponry. If the Grand Guard comes in, I don't know you. <sighs> I need a nap. Enjoy the air here. I, for one, ain't selling fermented. Come back soon. I mean, if I'm still here. The wall of light from the time of the rat plague. It was a lovely city once, before the Duke began choking the life out of the place, before the Crown Killer started painting the walls red. Now you're here, and I have to wonder whether you're gonna give it that final nudge, or pull it back from the edge. We've both seen cities go bad before. Vermin, blood, and betrayal. It's happening again. I hope you're ready.
We're conducting a search for heretical artifacts. What? Here? Listen, I only need This to... area is restricted on the authority of the Abbey. No one is allowed inside. I don't feel safe. What is wrong with this city? Listen. Trouble sleeping again last night. Maybe I ought to try one of those sleeping tinctures. But they can be kind of pricey. I cover your face. Are you worried someone might recognize you? Grand Guard soldiers, best to avoid. a meal that would cause you no, no shame about, should your neighbor come to stop with you i must draw strength let from not my the wanderer into your home as friends avoid a stranger for their time to sink roots into the bedrock of the community has passed those who want are untethered by family and neighbors for reasons tested and true it is off because they have turned their backs on tradition and on the seven strictures themselves. A wanderer is a friend to the outsider. Never doubt that. The Abbey will not allow the shadows of the boy to fall upon you. We will brandish the light or the flame as we must to keep our charges from everlasting pain suffering. From wandering through that endless night, this heretic's body is out important. Even though I don't fully understand the situation, we'll wait for the vice overseer. When should Burn arrive? He's engaged currently. He'll send someone else, maybe Overseer Kindana. Until then, we stay where we are. Won't the heretic's corpse attract blood flies, brother? No, I've dusted it already. We should be fine here for now. But mark me, anyone who shows up here has ill will at heart. There are no coincidences in Karnaka. Hey, who is? I know an agent of the. But mark me, anyone who shows up here has ill will at heart. There are no coincidences in Karnaka. I laughed again today if this is truly her chosen path. I can only hope the outsider has got to her first. Trust. In the Abbey. <coughs> A young girl came to me on the 14th day of the month of harvest. I will never forget her words. I shall not abide the foot. She looked up at me and asked what shrines to the outsider could be found across the aisle. Sometimes I wonder if it wouldn't be better to craft the innocent music boxes at each entree. Here in the city, for instance. Instead, they're made in a few locations. The 
Io. She affected the look of him. Sometimes I wonder if it wouldn't be better to craft the music box as a huge enclave here in the city. Instead, they're made in a few locations, kept from us, and shipped out. It seems dangerous. Far worse to have the knowledge of construction materials scattered across the aisles. The metals used to make the devices are unusually rare. The techniques, if applied by anyone but the most faithful, resolute overseers, would border on heresy. I suppose you're correct. It grieves me to imagine what cultists might accomplish if they took the music boxes and perverted them to their own ends. Exactly, brother. Much better to protect such a powerful tool. Assemble them in secret and dispatch them across the Empire where they're needed to fight against the supernatural. Echoes of lies come back as the voice of the outsider. thing. That's all it was. A bobble, a trinket. Yet it caught my eye. Why be tempted by such gilded nothing? Take comfort from the strictures. Nice overseer, Liam Byrne.
from the cold ocean. Those who taste the flesh of the rat risk drifting through the void for all the remaining hours of all the remaining years until the world is swallowed itself by the void and all manner of things are destroyed. Set a table for your family that will keep them safe. Lay out a meal that would cause you no shame should your neighbor come to sup with you. I say this now to all the faithful in our society. Your allegiance should be first. Welcome to my shop. Have a look around. This should take me out to the Institute. Adermeyer Station? No one ever goes out there anymore. More rarely. I could transfer you to the Dust District if you're... More Grand Guard soldiers. Best to avoid. This must be the alchemist's apartment. 
Alexandria Hypatia. What's going on at Adermeyer? What's the Duke's interest, and how is it connected to Delilah? I spend less and less time here at my apartment, but my work at Adermeyer demands... Huh? After the horrible failures of my first serum, I'm more determined than ever to help the miners. It's not my say how hard the Duke and his cronies drive the workers, but until he sees reason, I'll do what I can to make their lives better and to provide comfort to their families. It's my obsession, this work. And the Lord will have all the way. Help you on to a path. Now, let us be lost here together for a moment. something new. Blood fly nests all around them. <laughs> 